All right, let's go to this story. How many people know uh, Dania Jackson? Dania Jackson is the ex-wife or ex-wife to be of. Uh, let me show you what we're talking about. Or ex-wife to be of. Uh, let me. Let's hope I have that. I do have that here somewhere, right? Ex-wife to be of. Uh, what is the story? Oh, right here. I stopped the music so we don't get slapped. But uh, ex-wife of uh, Derek Jackson. Who is Derek Jackson? Let me show you where I'm talking about. I think it's better we put some face to this before we continue. Derek Jackson and wife. There you go. Let me show you who we're talking about. There you go. Perfect. 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 Share this. There you go. All right. So this guy is right here. Let me make it bigger. Yeah, so Dania Jackson is the ex-wife to be of Derrick Jackson, who came back some weeks back, maybe less than two months ago, to say they are filing for divorce. There was a guy who was uh, particularly known for uh, doing uh, content that tend to pander to women, uh, just saying all the things that women would like to hear. Uh, I've listened to him long enough. He's not saying a lot of things that's too off the cuff, uh, but... I remember the first time I heard him, I heard, I felt like the vibe I got from him, like, it was coming straight, like, he would tell some stories about something that happened between a man and a woman, and he's just going, his rhetorics were like, just the men, just the men did something that, and it was extremes of what's possible that the man is thinking, I'm like, if you don't, if you haven't heard the side of the man's story, why are we going for the worst case scenario of what's possible that the man is doing? It just didn't sit well with me. And I remember seeing that video and I kind of like lost sight of it. I didn't follow him until it was two years ago when two years ago that uh, some blogger, Tasha K, exposed the nonsense out of him. He had been cheating on a consistent basis, uh, serial cheating on his wife. You know, that's the wife right there. And they tried to fix it. Like nine months later, he came out and said, hey, it's unfixable. He's just going to file for divorce. This was a picture of him taking a picture with side chicks in public. Just before that, this was about to be exposed. He just said, listen, I'm filing for divorce. That's him right there. Fine boy, no people. Wife and stuff. That's him right there. Uh, when he got caught, within 24 hours, he came out. This picture you're looking at is is basically a screenshot of a video uh, of the <laughs> I'm sorry, I just laughed at the bonnet. I can't. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> of holding the wife's hand and say, yes, something's happened. We're working on our family. And she seemed like she was forced to sit down and do this video. See? Ah! When, you, when all you know is about relationships and you refuse to learn power dynamics, especially with respect to emotional intelligence, yeah, it will fall on his face. We're humans. We're humans at the end of the day, you know? Um, it's part of, power, part of power dynamics when I say avoid shalaye. If you've been caught in a situation like this that clearly doesn't look good for you, your family, it's very important to take the time and don't feel like heaven is not going to fall out of the skies. Take your time. Shout out to Chris Rock. Take your time. Nobody is going anywhere. I promise you. Shout out to Lady Navarre. Good to see you. Everybody will be here when you've gone through some healing process. Some. Not, you're not, nobody's expecting you to heal overnight or or even for the rest of your life, you might have to deal with this stuff for the rest of your life. You might have to maintain for the rest of your life. As a matter of fact, just like any other disease out there. But you can't really rush out to explain yourself. What you will end up looking like is, what you end up doing is exposing yourself. He exposed himself as a controlling mother. Okay? That's what he did. All right? But all of that fell on the face less than a year later. He came out and just finally... Uh, but the wife posted something. The reason why we're covering this today uh, is because the wife posted something. 
you know Kathy said is a narcissist well there's tons of narcissistic traits in that behavior I can't really diagnose them here uh, but there's tons I would agree with you there's tons of narcissistic traits in that behavior right so let's share go back to this This is the wife okay she started uh, walking around the house ex-wife to be she's always reading the Bible a lot of Christian rhetorics warrior Christian soldier type of thing she's always posting those things but she posted this uh, like a day ago or so she said when the man you love and have kids with destroys your soul with reckless decision-making you must choose to be alone with God when your heart has been shattered now okay let me just analyze what she's saying being alone with god what do you mean by that i need to we need to assess that what do you mean by that we don't know her we don't know what she's going through we don't know if there are people around her if being alone with god means being alone by yourself without support system is very dangerous it's very very dangerous when you've gone through something like you need support system why you're a human being okay the trauma is that much you need support system okay if you have to pay for it you pay for it you need support system okay it's good for per personal accountability okay it's good for but it's also good as some kind of medium for clarity between you and god because again if you've gone through such trauma your your, your judgment is clouded up your ability to hear the voice of God, whatever you mean by that, it's going to be clouded up by the pain you've gone, by the pain you might experience from that trauma. So I'll be careful with what you mean by certain rhetorics that sounds good to the naked ears, but I'll be very careful. What do you mean by choose to be alone with God? What do you mean? Exactly what do you mean? Are you trying to be macho here? Because sometimes you call God in, in terms of the words, but you're actually pretending to be macho, like you can be all bad by yourself, and there's no such human beings. We all need support systems. But anyway, when your heart has been shattered and reshaped into something that doesn't quite feel normal inside your chest, with mental, emotional, and soul pain that is unbearable, there is only one man who can fix it, and that is the Holy Spirit. What do you mean by that? I know what it means to me, but a lot of time people will use the, the words Holy Spirit, but they actually mean two different things. These are the questions we need, we as human beings need to start asking ourselves. Okay. Very important. Okay. When you're suffering so much that each next breath seems excruciating and you don't know how you can live without the man while at the same time being angry with that man, that's real. At the same time being angry with that man because he has crushed your spirit due to his unconscious unconscious prick you have made an idol of that man husband or not well we kind of know you're talking about your husband or ex-husband to be if you have heard god hates divorce and using that for strength to work it out with a man who continuously chooses ouch that sounds painful, right? You have made an idol of that man. You are people pleasing and you are out of order in the sight of God, married or not. You made a lot of good points. And this requires repentance and renunciation. I would want to know what she means by that. In terms of how does this play out in real life? What are the actions behind this, right? real life action actionable things behind all of this a lot of people are very good at saying these things the way i'm interpreting is based on my filters and they all make sense visible but i'm also aware that people's filters vary from people to people a lot of that is clouded up by 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 pain this is why i say you need support system part of personal accountability so they can say oh no 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 that's that's I, I, I wouldn't no let's not look at it that way this is why you should look at it this way because on the other hand over there like that somebody that can draw it 
in black and white for you trace your step from a to b b being your destination and saying uh, this is the picture we're looking for but this is the process right a lot of people use the word of god as quick fix too and this it just doesn't work you know you're a human being still right anyway i keep saying that it's very important to keep saying that because a lot of us try to especially women you try to act like superhumans you're not you're not okay all right good it's all realistic as all realistic expectations at best okay one thing god hates more than divorce is a woman with a destroyed soul idolizing a man who does not have the power to destroy her soul and body in hell fire okay i think i got some context from that intimacy with the holy spirit is how you survive and become genuinely healed from the inside out there is no other way it is easy to assume god is doing nothing when you're dealing with the trauma of betrayal and the truth is that god is not doing anything if you have not given him anything to do that is very true sometimes you just have to get out of the way of god well getting out of the way of god is sometimes you engage in prayer that helps you with patience and that helps you with patience with the process right right as opposed to what what's the what's the flip side of this you engage that person and in toxic argument with them all the time trying to convince them to be what they simply are not pay attention healing is a two-way street where you must exchange your brokenness hurt pain and trauma for healing provided by his stripes okay i've mastered the heart of healing god's way because all right I've developed a personal intimate relationship with him, meeting with him multiple times a day, five times a day. I've learned that he's made strong in my weakness and it takes him a nanosecond to heal what natural water therapy would take years to manage with side effects known as triggers. That's a lot of point there. That's a heavy one. May God continue. May God comes to heal. Or oh, when God comes to heal, He heals completely. There are no side effects or, or and triggers. And yes, there are. You need support system. There are. My secret to surviving public mockery, scrutiny, scandal, betrayal, and dishonor is sur surrendering to the Lord. All right. If that means stop doing shalaye, this is not shalaye. She's doing. This is a good post, by the way. Um, but if that means don't do shalai to people that do, that made up their mind, then I'm, I'm with it, you know, like finding peace inside of yourself, finding peace in the God in you, not peace in the God outside of you or some graven image somewhere, right? Are you ready to go through the process of becoming whole again? Not a rhetorical. Okay. All right. So that's that. This was, uh, the announcement that was made by uh the guy you know i can't judge him he's the only one that knows what he's going through why he felt like he couldn't really sustain the marriage we can't judge unless he speaks about it but these are real these are real things okay now obviously it's been all over the place it's been out there in the street he belongs to the streets <laughs> okay so um it's kind of uh it's uh it's sad because that's a whole family broken apart, right? Chinya said, Derek Jackson, the deceiver. That's really sad. I feel bad for her. He's a narcissist. Kathy, shout out to Kathy. Not gonna lie, I used to be a strong supporter of him. He had some good advice, although I did give him the side eye sometimes. <laughs> right. They, they, yeah, that's that's exactly what I was trying to say, uh, say earlier. The first time, like, why is he extreme in having an opinion about the other side of the story that you haven't heard that's why when i talk here and i read anything i engage the person doing the narration i just did it with him i can't judge him i haven't heard his side but when somebody just have very strong opinions about the other side of the story they haven't heard or more i take that with a pinch of salt i can't take that too seriously that's my point okay people have their opinion that's fine that's why sometimes I'm like, oh, la, but you didn't, you know, that person was wrong. So I'm like, what person? The person I haven't heard their side of the story is a very difficult thing for me to do. I'm just being honest with you. 
it's very difficult for me to do but i get it just for the sake of conversation you want me to take a side uh take a stand like it's not necessary for the kind of conversations i like to have with the prestige family i think i like to give you your power or point you to a potential power that you might you may have that you're disengaged from i think your power is in what you can control not other people because you really can't control other people i damn sure can't control a person that i have heard that story right the only thing i can do is make you feel a little better by saying yes they're kind of wrong okay i guess you feel better but yeah nah <laughs> uh anyone watching the real housewives of abuja i so love the serafa love uh, nah my wife will probably find that later and be watching it <laughs> uh hey life would not to welcome good to see you hope she heals though she rained insults on us <laughs> she, when i collect right <laughs> married to jesus no me hmm. hopefully she isn't having a suit that's what i was saying you need support system we're humans at the end of the day god wants us to remain humans he wants you to continue to have human experience because the beauty in all of this is it's inside of the human experience still not becoming holy spirit you're not holy spirit okay hey modele good to see you hopefully she isn't okay she said that hey modele uh rebecca take refuge in god mm. i hope this lady finds healing seems like the guy wanted a bad b and not a prayer warrior i hope she has support here yeah. support is very important but it's not that easy you need a physical support exactly you need support systems okay that trauma can seriously do someone's heads in yes she's just trying to comfort herself spiritually yeah which is necessary too i get that you know and uh, when people start hitting those like buttons it pumps a little dopamine dopamine about like, oh yeah i guess they agree with me that's nice like, yeah the work is inside out, not the other way around, right? You have to do the work. Sometimes the pain is too much that you just need God. Yes, I agree. I agree. Some people take it too far and it becomes excessive. Yes. You need God. You need people that God will use for you. You need support systems. Okay? Okay. She needs serious therapy. Her posts have been delusional and sometimes disturbing all in the guise of religion. Thank you, Romari. Exactly. I've seen some of those too. Uh, Kati said, me, I judge him. I strongly believe he's a narcissist. They use and drive you crazy and then leave you. Yeah. Everyone that's ended, for every ended relationship, there's at least one side, at least one side that feels like somebody got used and drove them crazy precisely why they end up in divorce courts there's an extremely good chance that just good people like you and i that just didn't figure out the relationship thing it just get messy like that you know and then somebody points finger and then all right so, you know you know and then we start using terminologies that yeah nah uh, good people can end up in this kind of situation yes when it looks what it looks like to the public is like somebody is a narcissist somebody's just well maybe they got to a point as like it's a breaking point like oyade says you know what this prayer warrior thing i'm all, life is moving past me very fast though uh, maybe does it feel kind of mean and wicked yes that's why it's painful right especially if it was the one that cheated right but if he's covering up for her we don't know too we just a lot of that happens too where the man is covering up for the mother of his kids it, it happens right so that's why it's very very hard for me to diagnose people on those public platforms uh, and by the way there are many many other content creators that will do you the justice of diagnosing them <laughs> it's just kind of different what we do here you know but shout out to you kathy uh rebecca says some of these men go for church girl but in their minds they want the wild cat girls wala, 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 wala. Voila! <laughs> All right, we've got a few more to cover. Let's let's move on from Derek Jackson and his wandering superpower. Wandering, what is it? What did she call it? Something prick, something like that. I'll be right back. <laughs> 